What's going on YouTube? Rabe here and today we're going to be taking a look at LEGO City set number 60083, the Snowplow Truck. Uh, the set has 196 pieces and retails for about 20 bucks. Uh, now I'm particularly excited about this set. I, honestly, I have to say it's one of the new sets for uh, 2015. Uh, it's just starting to show up in stores now and I believe it's actually available on legoshop.com as well. Um, or shop.lego. Com, my apologies. Uh, but when I saw pictures of this originally, I was just super excited for it. Um, just because it's different. It's it's a construction sort of vehicle or, you know, a, a public service vehicle, I should say. Uh, but it's one that, to my knowledge, we haven't seen before. Uh, snowplow truck is really cool, really different, and uh, being from New England as I am, pretty topical as well. So, very, very cool. As you can see, you get a minifigure going on in here, and it is it is uh, looks to be just the uh, kind of same Walter White face going on there. But uh, overall, really nicely done using the new pieces to uh, form the uh, the plow here, and just a, a nice little cab as well. Flipping it over to the back, you can see it's got some play features also. Uh, he's uh, spreading salt on the road. Very, very cool. I think it might actually spin as you uh, move the truck along, which would be very neat. Um, and of course, you can take the plow and the um, salt container uh, off of the back of the truck to have just a base truck as well. So, very, very cool. Uh, I really do like the idea of this thing, and I, I love the look of it. So, hopefully, it will not disappoint, and I, I don't think it will. But I'm going to go ahead and get this thing put together, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay guys, so here is the snowplow truck, and I love it. So what we're going to do is take a look at the minifigure first, like we always do. And it's a pretty simple one. We have our dear friend, Walter White. He's waving hello. Hello. And uh, we'll just put his hand down there. So here he is. We've seen this mold, or not this mold, this print uh, many times before. He's got some nice dark blue uh, jeans on, or probably some uh, nice Carhartt. <laughs> fuzzy inside lined beautiful uh, legs <laughs> what am I talking about uh, yeah so he's got the usual kind of shirt I don't know why it's unbuttoned that's craziness he's gonna freeze uh, but he's got some nice safety glasses on and a very nice uh, Norm Abrams uh, kind of face very very nice uh, nothing on the back he's got one of the new ball caps with a little hole in the top for accessorizing and uh, we can just put that right on top of his head. There he is. And on to the plow itself. Here it is. Very nice. Big, chunky tires. I have to say, uh, this is a weird-shaped vehicle <laughs> overall, um, especially without the attachments on here. Um, but let's look at it with the attachment first. And the uh, first thing you'll notice is this big plow on the front. Now, I don't know how many of you live in a part of the world where there's just not any, like, snow uh maybe none of you there may be some of you uh but where i live uh we get lots of snow in the winter time so we get these plows coming through all the time and uh they'll uh cock the plow to one side and it'll go down the street and then they'll turn it to the other side and it'll go down the other side of the street and knock all the ice and snow off the road onto the sidewalk <laughs> where it piles up like crazy. Um, so to uh, to show that, uh, this is on a nice little ball joint. It's on one of the, uh, you know, that we've seen in the, uh, the Chima sets and other sets now. Little ball joint system that they have going on. Uh, this can actually close up if you so desire, uh, but usually the plow... Uh, the plow shovels just stay like that, and there are lights going on there, and uh, a nice little kind of wedge at the bottom to, to scoop up the ice and snow, and then this kind of projects it in whichever direction you want it to go. So we'll put that right off to the side. And uh, you can see in the back we have a little dumper car here, and I've put 
all the snow that they give you, as well as the uh, the clear bits that I had left over as little ice chunks. I, I threw those in there as well. Uh, but what goes back here is the salt, actually. And you've got a little, little spinning bit back here, and you can see this little bit back here. And you, you lower the salt dispenser, and as you're driving along, you can see it's spinning. So as you're driving along, the salt will drop down from here and like pour onto this little spinning disc and just get shot all over the road. So, you know, you get the roads uh, salted to hopefully melt some of the ice that's on there. Um, so you get that attachment as well. And you can also uh, just pull this right off also. So you lift up the dispenser and pull this off. And you've got a very, very oddly shaped truck with big, huge tires. Um, which is pretty cool. I like the big huge tires. I think they're really really funky and chunky <laughs> um, But the nice thing is that this is totally different from any other vehicle uh, that I've built in recent past uh, For certain I mean the cab is a little bit, you know, this part of the cab is a little bit kind of you know common uh, but because of the uh, the Technic bits and the the gears and stuff underneath here um, the actual chassis of the vehicle is totally different. It's a nice uh, kind of refreshing build from your normal, uh, you know, utility trucks, the pickups and everything, the cement trucks and all that that we've been used to. It's kind of a nice change. Um, I really do enjoy that. Uh, there's a couple of stickers in this set. They're very, very simple, very big and easy to uh, apply. You also get a broom for uh, sweeping ice and a shovel just in case, you know, you never know. Uh, and overall, very, very cool. So inside the cab here, just pop the top right off. Inside, you can see you've got a little uh, steering wheel and a little dashboard with a uh, hot chocolate mug on there, or coffee, you know, if, you, if you're into that sort of thing. And you can put, just put your little, uh, little guy right in here. Pop the top on get them ready to go pop that on get your little ice going or the salt the road salter attach your plow and you are good to go making the roads safe for all of Lego City um, as you can see you do get the uh, actual doors on the truck which I know a lot of people really enjoy it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference to me to be quite honest but uh, I know that means a lot to some folks. So here it is from the back uh, and the side, the other side, and of course the front. Another sticker on there. You can see a new, uh, a new symbol for the uh, snowplow unit or whichever, whatever it may be. Um, <clears throat> and I just wanted to show this real quick. There is, I don't know if it's a new piece, but it's newer as far as I'm aware. Uh, this kind of nearly triangular piece going on right here that's kind of uh, hollowed out on the inside that's used to build the um, the uh, the carrier or the hopper whichever you know whatever you might want to call it um, and it's a new piece it's pretty cool I can see some neat things coming out of that I'm sure it'll be used a lot in the uh, upcoming construction sets that are uh, that are coming out um, but yeah, very, very cool set. I really like it. It actually, it, like, it speaks to me on a, like, a certain level because, A, uh, I love the wintertime. I love snow. I'm not a big fan of driving in it, but uh, there, you, there you have it. But, uh, you know, so many times, you know, it's nighttime and, and you just hear the plows driving back and forth across the streets. And um, it's just really cool. So... I am super excited to have this for my Lego City setup, and uh, I think you guys will really like it too. Uh, it's a whole lot of fun. There's a lot to do with it, and uh, especially since you can maneuver the, the plow, I think that's super, super cool. So, yeah, really, really cool start to the uh, 2015 lineup, and... Uh, I hope they keep going strong. So that is going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, stay tuned here. I've got more Lego coming up uh, and uh, all kinds of good stuff. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.